everybody. Today we're going to be doing an Edwards extraction. This is one of our methods that we use to do a crude DNA extraction. So we, as you can see in our molecular biology procedures, we have a full page dedicated to the Edwards method with all the ingredients that you need. I've already made up my buffer, but we recommend that you make up your Edwards extraction buffer um, fresh every time. It only needs four ingredients. It needs um, a pH buffer, it needs a salt to keep the ionic strength in the solution perfect, it needs a chelating agent, and it needs a surfactant. So every time you make this, you should make up this buffer fresh. The procedure is quite simple. We're going to use um, 1.5 mil micro centrifuge tubes and sterile uh, micro pestles. We're going to use a number three hole punch as is specified in the procedure, it says exactly the size hole punch that you need. And we're also going to use tweezers. We're going to be sterilizing these two in between use so that we don't get cross-contamination of plants. So first, I'm going to sterilize my punch. And what I like to do is I, I've sprayed this with ethanol and I bunch up the uh, paper towel and I actually try to cut the paper towel with the hole punch to make sure that it's fully sterile. We're going to repeat this process between every sample. Okay, now my micro centrifuge tubes are already labeled, so we're going to go ahead and get started. So we're going to start with number seven. We're going to take a punch from a newer leaf, not a completely baby leaf, but a newer fresh leaf. We don't want to go completely old, we want to be on the newer side. So right about this size leaf is perfect. And we're going to take it from um, the side of the leaf, trying to avoid getting a lot of the vein. So we're going to punch, grab the punch with our tweezers. Now this procedure actually specifies that the leaf be dry ground for 15 seconds. So I have my stopwatch here. It's not exactly 15 seconds, but this helps me keep a track of how long I've been grinding. So we're just going to grind. You want to swirl it about and mix it up and down because what can happen is the punch stays at the very bottom of the tube and doesn't actually get touched by the micro pestle and you want to avoid that. We're at about 15 seconds. So we're going to add 400 microliters of Edwards extraction buffer. Now if you kind of get good at this, what you can do is actually use the buffer to wash off the micro pestle as you pull it out. And this helps make sure that there isn't any tissue left in there. And then this goes into our dirty pile, and this gets vortexed for about five seconds. Perfect. And now you'll notice that what I did not do, we're going to move on to the next sample, but what I did not do is I took, I did not take a punch of each one and then grind and then add buffer. You wanna go through each leaf step individually because if you grind a leaf and then give it time to cool down while you're grinding another leaf, um, what can happen is the DNA can start to uh, degrade. And we don't want that. So again, we're gonna bunch up the paper towel and kind of try to cut it with the actual punch. And if the punch is uh, too dull, we do have round um, files in the fab room. So yeah, we're going to repeat this process moving forward. So again, number eight, younger leaf from the side. What I would recommend is having a negative wild type control somewhere in the middle of the screening here as well. That way you know you're not carrying anything over into the actual PCR. That is a great idea. So again, keeping track of the time, grinds. So we're moving up and down. We're not letting any bit of the tissue hide. And again, 400 microliters. So as you can see, this is a very uh, simple procedure. 
What we're going to do after we've ground up all of our samples is we're going to let them sit for an hour at room temperature and then we proceed with an alcohol wash. Okay. And that's it. Thank you, Natalie.